Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Learning Biology with Dr. Vanessa. In this video, we are going to cover the function of the respiratory system. But in order to do so, we are going to take a look first at what the respiratory system is made up of, and then we are gonna go into its basic functions. The respiratory system is made up of organs and tissues which allow the body to breathe. In order for the cells which make up tissues and organs to survive, they rely on a constant flow of oxygen. It is also crucial that they release wastes such as carbon dioxide. In order for the cells to receive this constant flow of oxygen and release wastes, the cells rely on the work of the respiratory system. The respiratory system actually works together with the cardiovascular system for some of this function. However, for this video, we are going to focus on the function of the respiratory system. In order to understand how the respiratory system works, we are going to take a closer look at the anatomy of the respiratory system or how it is made up. The respiratory system is classified both structurally and functionally. Structurally, it is split into the upper respiratory system and the lower respiratory system. The upper respiratory system includes the nose and all its structures and the pharynx, which includes the nasopharynx, the oropharynx, and the larynopharynx. When you refer to an upper respiratory infection, you are thinking mostly of congestion that occurs in the facial region. The lower respiratory system includes the larynx, the trachea, and the bronchi and the lungs. When you think of a lower respiratory infection, you're thinking that this infection has now affected the lungs, um, the breathing, etc. The congestion has gone down further and could lead to things like pneumonia. To put them both in perspective, and you can see them all on one picture, again, we have the upper respiratory system, which is the nose and the pharynx and those associated structures. And then moving down, the larynx down, we have the lower respiratory system. Functionally, the respiratory system is split into the conducting zone and the respiratory zone. In this split, the conducting zone is much larger as it is the zone which conducts the air to the lungs. This is going to include the nose, the pharynx, the larynx, the trachea, and then further inside, it's going to include the bronchi, the bronchioles, and then the terminal bronchioles. As you can see in this classification, that is the majority of the respiratory system. The respiratory zone is going to include the very end of the respiratory system. And this is going to include those respiratory bronchioles the alveolar ducts, the sacs, and then the alveoli themselves. So the sacs, the alveoli, all of this is going to be considered the respiratory zone. And what you can see here too, is that the capillaries surround um, these alveoli, and this is where the gas exchange is going to occur. So the respiratory zone is going to be the site of gas exchange at this very end portion where gas exchange is going to happen. And to clarify, the gas exchange that we're talking about is oxygen going from the lungs to the blood and then carbon dioxide going from the blood to the lungs. Now that you have an understanding of the respiratory system and its different divisions, let's take a look at the main functions of the respiratory system. They include, first of all, it allows you to smell through the use of smell receptors which are located in your nose. It also allows you to produce sounds, also known as phonation. Simply said, it allows you to speak. This occurs with air coming up from your lungs through your trachea and voice box in order to produce that sound. The respiratory system also filters inspired air. As you breathe, air goes into the nose and the particles can get trapped in the hair and mucus. As the air also goes through the nose, it gets warmed and moistened. This allows the air to be at an appropriate temperature and humidity level as it enters into the body. 
The respiratory system also brings oxygen to the cells, as I had mentioned before. This occurs in the exchange of gases that happens at the respiratory zone. Between the capillaries of the alveoli and the air within the alveoli, oxygen can enter into the blood where it will be taken all throughout the body by the cardiovascular system. Waste, such as carbon dioxide, can also enter from the blood into the alveoli where it can be expelled on exhalation. And finally, the respiratory system also functions in helping to adjust the pH of the body. This process is complicated and includes other systems. There's a good bit of physiology that goes into how we breathe, how the gas is exchanged, and how pH levels are controlled. This makes these processes a little more complicated. I will go into those in more detail in separate videos so that I can keep them relatively short and go over each of those processes in more detail. Overall, the respiratory system is very important and crucial to our survival. What are some ways then that we can keep the respiratory system healthy? Here are a few tips. An important tip to keeping the respiratory system healthy is to avoid exposure to different pollutants. This can be things such as smoking, um, inside pollutants that could damage the lungs, outdoor pollutants such as fire, smoke. We don't wanna be around those for long periods of time. Another way to help keep the respiratory system healthy is to prevent infection. You can do this by making sure that you wash your hands, staying away from people that are sick, and getting regular checkups. And finally, a really good way to help keep the respiratory system healthy is to exercise. By exercising, we're making sure that our lungs are in good shape to continue breathing and doing that work for the body. Thank you so much for watching my video. I love being able to bring science topics to you in an easy and understandable way. If you like my content, please make sure to support my channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos. If you never want to miss out on a new video, please make sure to hit the little bell, which notifies you of newly uploaded videos. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to put them down below. Thank you.